I'm excited. <laughs> oh, my hair. <laughs> We're going to be doing some jack-o'-lantern carving today. We're going to be carving some kitty pumpkins. Lots of cute kitty pumpkins. Well, I'm doing a kitty pumpkin. Are you also doing a kitty pumpkin? I think so. I think so. And if you're here on the replay, um, just so you know, we're going to be waiting here for a little bit until people get here live. Mm -hmm. So you can hang around if you want or you can skip ahead. Um, but if you are on the replay and you're like, man, I wish that I was here live when Jason Cats and Pats did a live stream, then make sure you turn on your notifications because that's the best way to get notified if you do want to make sure that you're here live. All right, you going to get us set up with chat? Yes. I wanted just Sarah to say all that because she's like, oh, just remind people to say this and that and like... I, I can't remember more than three things at once. <laughs> it's kind of bad. Hey! We're going to chat set up. I could barely read that, but I think you said I love pumpkin carving. Yes. Sarah and I have been really bad about uh, being on time with our pumpkin carving the past couple of years. I think mm -hmm. I think last year specifically, we might have... Uh-oh. There we go. I think last year specifically, we uh did it probably like November 1st or something. Uh, Artsy Ravenclaw said she wish she could keep watching, but she has to go. That's cool. You gotta go. You gotta do what you gotta do. Well, we'll miss you, and it'll be here once it gets processed, and you can watch the replay mm -hmm. and see what happens. Um, oh, and Humira Crush, said that, that they love pumpkin carving. Awesome. Oh, no, you're fine. Don't worry Arts about it. Raven Claw says, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. You you got your life to live. <laughs> For real. Not everybody's on my 4 o'clock <laughs> Eastern time Friday right. schedule or whatever. But thanks for jumping in. Say hi. At the speed of life says hi. Hi. Hey there. So, we are going to be doing these pumpkins. I guess we'll wait a little bit for some people to get here, but I am really, really well, excited. you were going to be excited to tell me about what you're going to do, and I said, sit down, be humble, <laughs> wait a second until we went live. Okay. Um, do you want to tell me? Sure. Tell so, everybody? Well, what? so, I was going to do a kitty cat pumpkin, but I was right. just trying to think of different ways to do it. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like any time you do something that's a face, you run the risk of it being, like, too many holes. And there isn't enough support, you know, or too big of a hole. Oh, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, and yeah. And then it's like, yeah. mm -hmm. sinks in or like looks right. weird. Right, the whole thing falls or it gets really hot out. Because it's 75 degrees today yeah. uh, where we Even are. Yeah, like and yesterday it was like yeah. 60 or so I'm 55. more than might go a little early. <laughs> but sorry, go ahead. Um, So I was thinking that I would do like, maybe like do the ears but not cut out a full triangle. Do like little like, cheek, cheek, like this, like two lines, cheek, cheek, like Instead of, like, cutting out... Oh, like an outline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was thinking okay. about doing that. Um, Interesting. Glass Burner says, hello from Ohio, watching Ooh. with my black kitty. Yay! Oh, how awesome. cute. Hello. It's so thematic. Our black kitty was around here a second ago. Yeah, yeah. Halloween kitty. She was, like, <laughs> sitting on the pumpkin, I guess, last night. Oh, well, yeah. She was sitting on the pumpkin last night, and it was super cute and thematical. Um, because pumpkin carving takes a little bit, Sarah and I did do the thing of... We hollowed our pumpkins out already. We did that last night before the live stream because I didn't want to have like you don't have to watch 45 minutes of me scooping things or <laughs> us scooping things. So we did do that part first. Yeah, so that's pre-done. Um, RT Ravenclaw says, before I go, just want to congratulate you on getting 2.3k subs. I've been Thanks. watching since 800 subs. Well yeah, done. Yeah, I remember your name because I always think Harry Potter. Which oh. I assume is the point, but yeah. maybe it's not. Yeah. But I always think of that. Thanks, that's awesome. And Suspected Polar Bear says, watching from Illinois, Kibby, my black kitty, is here with me. Oh, wait a minute. I think I... Uh-oh. Luna. Luna. Oh, oh. Stand on the pumpkin. Oh, <laughs> oh. sorry, honey. Sorry. She's like... She's like no. <laughs> there was Luna. She was not happy about that. <laughs> she does not want to stand on a pumpkin. Oh, she's going to get some food. Okay, maybe after she's done snacking, she'll make another appearance. But um, we've got the chat set up over here so I can see what you're saying since the camera's kind of far away from us. And we've got our pumpkins and Sharpies and tools and hopefully yeah, this is not a disaster. the hammer just in case. Yeah. Um, so I had kind of three... Well, did you finish? That's my main idea. You the other thing with kitty pumpkins as hard as the whiskers... Mm. Because they get, it's hard to make something really thin, but they get too big and they got a bunch of them and they don't fit, or then again the thing starts to collapse after like a day, so I'm trying to figure out my plan for that. Maybe just do two whiskers and mm. get the idea. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Be I gotta bold, figure that I out. Say. <laughs> so, so, what is your I plan? went on the interwebs today and googled cat pumpkins. Um, I'm not trying to go too extreme because I'm not that much of an artist, but I have some, uh, maybe I'm just show this. I have some design ideas. So one is like, what's work? Yeah, let's find hey, out. Everybody, can you see it? Oh yeah, one is the basic design, which is a straight up some ears, some whiskers, and a nose. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that because it's so basic. Um, Hashtag basic. 
They have one that's a little bit more complicated that I think looks pretty cute. Uh, I think I can do the eye thing. I wouldn't be doing the whoop, oh, that's... glare. Uh, I wouldn't be doing the ears because that's a little too complicated. So that's idea number two. And the other one I was thinking of was like a Neko Atsume style uh, kitty cat. So if you look at this guy, look at the top part. Top part. Not the Jack London part. So you can kind of see the cute face. Or really, it looked like this, but like once it's glowing, it looked a lot more cute. Okay. So, I don't know. Like the basic one looks still pretty cute. Maybe that won't be too much like you though. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I mean, if they're if they're the same, that's not too big of a deal. Um, yeah, as the speed of life says, we can't carve pumpkins here in Arizona because they will be nasty the next day. Oh man! I never really thought about that, but that makes sense. <laughs> what do people do? Just buy fake ones, or just not? I guess you could just do it like the day of. Yeah, dot water in it. What? Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, RT Ravenclaw says, cut out the eyes like triangles, and oh, and make two holes in the head and then put the extra bits of the triangle in the holes to make ears. Oh, see, yeah, That's they have ears on theirs. That's that clever. Seems... Oh, oh, I get it. <laughs> I'm not very imaginative. Oh, well, maybe I should but do But then that. the ears wouldn't be glowing, right? Because you'd be using... The... Right, yeah. So you wouldn't see it at night, but it would be like, you know, outside of Did the you boundary. Did you do ears on it? Uh, I think... I don't, I don't know. know if I did or not. We'll have to figure that out. Um, at the speed of life says that they like the first option. Oh, so that's their basic. Vote. Okay. Um, CM Coleman Home Recipes and Lifestyle says, "Are you going to do something special to make them last longer?" Uh, I mean, I assume we're going to put some sort of oil. We yeah, always did well, Vaseline. Yeah, we did Vaseline. We yeah. don't have any, but maybe like coconut oil. We don't have no that fancy petroleum jelly. <laughs> <that's> <laughs> Pro hey, hey, Brandy. Um, probably do. <laughs> maybe some coconut oil or olive oil or something just to kind of. Give it a little protection. Um, well, and T Glass Burner says they like the first one as well. All right, well, you guys have convinced me because that seems easier and kind of nice and fun. So I'm going to get started. Okay. Maybe we should both get started. That yeah. way we're not here for three hours. Where's the sharpie? Okay. What? You have oh, a sharpie? I have a sharpie. You can go ahead and start. I'll okay. read some comments. At the Speed of Life says that in Arizona, we decorate them with other things. Good, th good thing is we can undecorate them and use them for fall decorations afterwards. Does that make sense? Um, and then Suspected Polar Bear says, I really like the first one. Okay. Um, Kibby seems to as well. That's their kitty cat. So Aww. you've got a kitty cat vote for that one too. Um, and RT Ravenclaw says, I can I can wait to give my dog a shower. I want to stay. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Happy you're here with us. So yeah, we've got our, our tops cut and our insides all scooped out. I got to figure out, I guess. The hardest part of this is I don't know how much space I have really. Maybe I should yeah. just wing it? Is that the better approach? Like, also, no, you, no Sharpie? Maybe? Yeah. Oh. Do you think a square... Because the first one, they did a square nose. I'm kind of a fan of, like, a like the circle nose with a... Yeah, I was about. thinking about doing something similar to that, too. I don't know. So, maybe I'll do... I'll do that part last. I'll do whiskers, big triangle whiskers, eyes, ears. Then I'll figure out the nose afterwards. Um, you want the Sharpie now? I'm going to just wing this. No, that seems scary. So, let's see. We've got... Are you imagining? Yeah, Magic I'm trying to, like, draw it out with my hands and figure out a plan. So, this guy's a little lopsided. The hard part is figuring out. So, let's go triangle. Oh, that's probably too big. Oh, I wonder if I could do, like, uh, do, like, the swoopy lips and then do, like, a tongue sticking out or something. Would that be cute? Wow, I think it's kind of fancy. Oh, man, this is... Alright, the ears are a little lopsided already, but that's okay. It's a good thing that this is going to... You know what? I can't draw it. That's, that's too much. I'm up. just going to start cutting it out. <laughs> These are my two ears so far. They're kind of... Okay. They're a little lopsided and <laughs> a little funny looking. But, uh, we'll see. Um, do you want me to read while you draw? Um, sure. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out my plan. I overthink things like this a little bit, but... Oh, hi. Um... The nose can be an upside down triangle. That's what I was thinking at, at the speed of life. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Upside down triangle for the nose. And I'm trying to figure out what direction I want the eyes to go. Um, Raiden says meow. <laughs> um, how do you all feel about the? You know what I'm talking about? Like the, the. What do you yeah. call it? The shape where like. It's like the two. The typical cat face lip. where it has like the two, like upside down candy canes, together like this. 
You know what I'm saying? Yes, I know. You know what, what I'm saying. saying. I know what you're saying for okay. sure. RT Ravenclaw says, um, I adopted my kitty just in time. She was a day away from being euthanized. Oh, wow. You really, well, that's awesome. Yeah, I came in and saved that kitty's life. And Suspected Polar Bear says, um, we give that two claws up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see. Oh. Well, do I want to do ears even? That's the other question. Oh, that's, that's a good point. Also, I don't have the sharpest of knives. I have a... Alright, I think I know what I'm going to do. Maybe this guy would be a little bit better. It's kind of a nicer, fancier knife. You got a plan, Sarah, bud? Yeah, I think so. I think I am... Oh, this one's much thicker, though. Hmm. I think I know what I want to do. I'm, I'm drawing now. I remember when I was little... Um, mom, you know, gave me the Sharpie one time, like, draw out what you want, and, like, I draw this weird, and, like, I was like, no, I don't want that, that's not the right shape, so my pumpkin, like, if you saw in the daylight, it got cut out eventually, <laughs> then it just had all these lines and, like, stars and circles and everything all over it. Have you guys carved pumpkins yet, by the way? If you're not in Arizona or someplace just as hot, um, or do you normally carve pumpkins? Maybe you don't even do that. Yeah. And did you carve any kitties, or what did you carve? I am curious to know. Yeah, we're actually doing good this year. Like, Jason, I think last year we did it, like, on Halloween or, like, the day after or something. Ooh, I think it was a little bit after. Oh, I didn't cut. But it's like, whatever. There we go. That's... You want to carve a pumpkin, do it whatever day you want. Yeah, that's kind of how we felt last year. It's like, was it too late to put them out? Or like, nah, we'll just have them out there for a long time. Like, who cares? They're fun, right? Yeah. That's kind of my plan, I thought. This one could be a little bit bigger, but that's the thing. It's trying to get stuff balanced. Yeah, it's not the easiest thing. But then again, if we think about real life, not all Katie's ears are perfectly... That's right. Not everything's down, right? perfectly symmetrical. It's rustic. Well, <laughs> That's what you can say with anything when it's not perfect. It's rustic. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh. Marilyn says, I'm thinking of spray painting my black um, with stenciling for the kitty face. Oh, oh that's or, a good idea. Suspe suspected polar bear says, I haven't carved a pumpkin, but try using a knife with ridges and saw it. It works really well. Yeah, we have one of the, oh yeah, this guy. Good call. Blaha says, I created a cat channel with my cat also. How oh, fun. Um, and I have to... I have to go. I have not carved pumpkins. Um, and then they shared their channel, which is Herman Cat Family. Oh, and then okay. T Glass Burner says, probably going to get pumpkins this weekend and carve them. May frost, though, and destroy them. That's mm. another thing. It gets too cold, and you got to deal with too that. Too cold, too hot. Always uh, something. Yeah. I think um, last year you did a kitty cat, but I think we did like a, like a regular jack lantern, like with the. Triangle eye. I don't know if my face is in here. Yeah. One year, didn't you do an emoji? Oh, yeah. Last year I did, uh, well, actually. Whoop, whoop, trying to kick the tripod. Hey, honey. I did this emoji, and it worked out really well. You did, like, shaving and stuff, right? Yeah, that one I had, like, this. Wait. Yeah, I think I shaved the entire thing. The heart was completely cut out. And then these... It was a pretty that. elaborate Yeah, maybe the whole thing was situation. shaved, this and this and this were completely cut out. Uh, it was pretty awesome, like, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I could have won Pumpkin of the Year. Alright, this ear is a little too pointy, I think. Okay. So, I might give that a little more space. Um, R.C. Ravenclaw says, despite popular belief in England, at least where I live, it's quite warm, and living next to a river doesn't help our pumpkins. They go bad, and then the ducks attack. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> um, yeah, what kind of mouth yeah, do I have? That's something, because we're kind of, you know, I mean, trying to be, I'm not sure what I'm doing, but also kind of be involved with, like, seeing people. Um, I was a little worried, because last night we were talking about, like, setting these outside, because we were, like, you know, by the woods and stuff. I thought, like, a raccoon or something might, like, try to eat a pumpkin, but... We've never really had, had an issue with that, but... Yeah, maybe... Think that I guess this time of year it's not too barren where they still maybe have some stuff around. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess, I mean, pumpkins are kind of dense, but, but I assume they're pretty good for... If you are hungry, if you are a hungry critter. Um, all right, I'll worry about even that other year out maybe in a second. So, thoughts. Uh, circle eyeballs, kind of like that one had, and what shape of nose? I think I'm going to go with the circle eyeballs, no matter what, actually. So just what shape of nose. I think the circle eyeballs look, like, much more friendly and kind of, like, I'm a cute kitty cat. Um, but let me know how you think I should do this. Sorry, sir. I'm gonna bump it's you. Fine. Oh, mom, mom, mom. Spectre Polar Bear says, 
I drop my phone and Kibi snatches my popsicle. I think some cat owners have similar stories. Wait, what? Did I read that backwards? I drop my phone and Kibi snatches my pops. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Anything that, like, isn't tied down, one of our kitties will, like, start batting. Especially Luna. If we have something small on a table, it is off the table and, like, no time flat. She just likes to be a part of anything that's around. Whatever's going on. Um, Braden Cox says, my favorite part of carving pumpkins is cooking the pumpkin seeds. Yes. Agreed. Sarah's all about that. Delicious. Um, I'm going to take my rings off so I don't get them all pumpkin-y. Um, I have ours in the fridge right now. I need to clean them off so that we can do that because it's a delicious, nutritious snack. Um, Whoa, nutrition. <laughs> <laughs> I have something about, something that. about that. Um, Tea Glass Burner says, dear love pumpkins, they're a natural dewormer for a lot of animals. Oh, really? Yeah, I, that's the thing. I never thought about, like, we've, I've never had a problem with, like, wild animals getting them, but... Yeah, you can get happen. With them. Suspected polar bear says, circle and upside down triangle nose, and uh, Artsy Ravenclaw says, my stepdad got our kitty, um, clunky bit litter, and I told him she won't, it's too big, she won't go in the litter box, the next day I woke up, and uh, the cat no. had pooped in her bed. Oh, no. Yeah. Moo Moo, uh, pooped in the bed one time, but he was like... He was a wee baby kitten. Yeah, he was, you know, a couple months old, and we should have known, and we did know, actually, before the night, before we let him sleep in there, but he was just, like, so little and cute that, like, right. we kind of didn't care. We were like, <laughs> uh, he'll probably be fine. <laughs> yeah, he'll make it. He's just a, a, you know, a kitten with a bladder the size of, like, an acorn. <laughs> That's gonna work out awesome. But, uh, yeah. Man, carving a circle, like a small circle, is pretty hard to do. Yeah, anything that's small is hard, and that's why it's always like, you don't want to get into anything too intricate unless you have like really specialized tools. Oh, also, I haven't shown y'all my... Oh, my yeah. Book. So this is what I'm working with. Oh, wow. Um, hopefully it looks good when it comes... I already feel like I don't... The whiskers are a little too turned up. No, I mean, look, look at the up. thing on the computer. Like, they have, like, thick whiskers. I think it looks pretty cute. Okay, well, we'll see how it looks once we... You know, I could drill I to make the eyes nice. Oh, yeah? Maybe I should try that. that. Got the old power drill here. Uh-oh. Do I have a bit for it? I thought I brought that up here. I don't know. You see a little bit. Hmm. Did you, hmm. Oh, here it is. I know you were looking for it. Yeah. Also, do you guys have, like, special tools for, uh, pumpkin carving? Because anything you see at, like, Walmart or somewhere else, like, they're garbage, like, little tiny things. They're like, pumpkin carving kit. I'm like, that's going to break in about three seconds when I use it. Yeah, it lasts, like, that year. Sorry. No, go ahead. One second. Try to... Eating this out a little bit. Nice. Ooh. So, it's a little pulpy. Now the other eyeball, I guess it's gonna be pretty close. I think I'm gonna have a kind of compact kitty cat. I'm gonna say. Oh yeah. Now I'm trying. Alright, so I'm Trying to do the widening part isn't the easiest, so I'm just going to do it at the end and kind of like make the circle more nice with the drill. I think that will do the trick. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Let me go back. Okay. Artsy Ravenclaw wants to know off topic, do you spell it gray or gray? So gray with an E or gray with an A. I never know. Yeah. I feel uh, like I mix it up. <laughs> I do with an E a lot of times. Um... And I guess, is there, I guess both spellings are acceptable, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. But I always, I, I don't know if one is well, more... Then, actually, what I usually do, I spell it with an E, I think it looks weird, and I switch to an A, and like, yeah, A, it sounds like, you know, gray. <laughs> sounds, sounds right. Right. Um, suspected polar bear says, Kibby has had a good transition between living in a garage and using a litter box, surprisingly. I've also realized I comment way too much. No, no, no. such thing as too many comments. Right, that's the point of live streams, you sit there and chit chat and yeah. have fun and comment. hang out with it. There we go. Okay. I always like hearing about kitty cats. So wait, did your kitty start out in the garage or like, did the kitty adopt you and it's like, show up in your garage one day and like, okay, let's uh, let's be friends. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, tea glass burner suggested the drill bit earlier before. Oh, is that right? <laughs> Just gonna give some credit there. Braden Cox says we have a family cat, but I mostly take care of it. Now my mom. Oh, now my room is the cat room, including <laughs> including the litter box. Uh. <laughs> um. And suspected polar bear says, I just use knives, 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 knives. Um, saws work well too, says T Glass Burner. Suspected polar bear says, My kitty was born in the garage. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, definitely the, yeah, that knife, serrated knife is a lot better, like I was saying. I mean, that's another thing I didn't, I was never the best at with, like, art stuff as a, Making things symmetrical? Oh, the nice thing, I guess, too, with pumpkins and carving and stuff, like, because it's light kind of coming out and, like, so the skin is, like, semi-transparent, like, it kind of rounds all the edges and things. Yeah, it's pretty and forgiving. This one here is so much bigger than the other, though. That's, that's not going to fool anybody out, I don't think. Ooh. Let's see. Let's go a little okay. wider there. Well, I've got one ear cut, so this is going to take me several days. Oh, uh, sorry. Well, you can on stop it. You, you can keep on going. Or do you need help? Um, no, I'm just trying well, to keep up with the comments. Yeah. yeah. Um, R.T. Ravenclaw says, Once me and my little brother were being babysat by my cousin, so my mom told us to carve pumpkins for Halloween. My cousins made us carve pumpkins with spoons. That's it. Oh, how's that, <laughs> that even work? That sounds impossible. <laughs> yeah. And suspected polar bear says we couldn't bring her in. Be oh, talking about the kitty cat in the garage. Right, right. Couldn't bring her in because of the dog. She was supposed to go with her family of seven to a farm, but ended up getting attached. Uh, yeah. And love BNSF says hi. Hello there. Oh yeah, anybody that just came on recently, if you couldn't tell, we're carving pumpkins, and both of ours are going to be kitty cat themed because yeah. that's something that we're into. Surprisingly enough. <laughs> um, and hopefully no one gets injured in the process. Of... Yeah, for real. I think... <laughs> another problem with uh, trying to even stuff out is like, once you make one bigger, then you start making the other one look bigger, and the other one's bigger. You just keep going back and forth. So what is the consensus? Tri upside down triangle nose? Think, yes. Right? Yes. Okay, so... Which, that's also what I did. Oh, wow. So we're going to have pretty similar kitty cats, I think. Yeah. So... Uh, upside down triangle. That's right. RT Ravenclaw says you're treating the ears like eyeliner. Carve a bit there. No, now it's too big. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Also, did you write mum earlier? I heard you yes. say it like that. That's yeah. Oh, I say mom. Also, so, in a lot of, on like, BBC shows and stuff, I always heard them say, it's not like they're saying mum, but I guess they're saying ma'am the whole time. Which I didn't know that till way later. Did you know that? Oh, I thought you thought it sounded the same, the way they, their accent was? Or well, what? I thought they were, like, I thought maybe just like a, I don't know, not an idiom, like a common thing just to call, like, an older lady mom, but then okay. they start doing it with, like, you know, women that are also their age, and so I was like, okay, I guess I just don't understand what's going on. Then I finally figured it out. Let's see. Uh, is my nose too far down? Might be. Yeah. Oh, there we go. If, if you need the other knife to start poking with, you can do that. I like to see what's popping. Okay. Um, Marilyn says you need a model. Where's Luna? She was here a second ago. I tried throwing her on the table here. Not throwing her. Probably putting her on the table with pumpkin. <laughs> she was not very happy about it. She actually I don't know why either because normally she's like. Well, I think all she about. got a little startled because she was like kind of in between the pumpkins and there wasn't yeah. really enough space for her up there. So maybe <laughs> maybe started... she'll come back. I started carving my triangle nose by carving inwards towards itself, so there's no actual hole all the way through here. Oops. Oh yeah, I've been having that problem on the ears too, not, not going in at an angle. But you can always... Hey, hello, honey. Orangey. Come here. Come Would here. you like to say hello to everyone? Join the fun. Oh. Oh. Uh, you can come up on the table. It can be with the pumpkins. There you go. Orangey, you match. <laughs> Yeah, we've got Luna and Pornchi, we call them our Halloween kitties. Yeah, they're the... Black and orange. Orange and black theme. But then Moo Moo, I guess, I don't know what to call him. He's just his own thing. <laughs> um... Suspected Polar Bear says, I love your voices. Finally a stream I can just sit back and listen to while I draw and paint. Well, thanks. Oh. I'm glad that you find us relaxing or... <laughs> 
Let's Susan. also listen to. <laughs> um, R.C. Ravenclaw said, "Ma'am is for older ladies, um, mom is for moms." Yeah. Oh. And love BNSF says, "My cat's name is Q-Tip because he's a really fluffy cat with white fur and a little bit of brown." That's, That's cute. super cute. Q-tip. I love that. That's a great name. Oh yeah, my video. Is that a week? A week ago? Two weeks ago? I don't remember now. It was about, about the cat names. Cat names. People have all sorts of cute cat names. I need to do like a follow-up, like the names of, you know, cats and pats, peeps, cats, or something. Yeah, that would be fun. Anyway, you know, some people have, you know, seven cats, some people have, like... Well, it's also interesting, too, like with international viewers, you get some different names yeah. maybe we don't hear as often in the U.S. or in different languages or whatever, which is yeah. really, really cool. And it seems like a, I don't know, a somewhat trendy thing where, uh, like... Uh, you have a, a U.S. person that has a Japanese name for a cat. Huh. That is kind of cool. That seems kind of, kind of fun, kind of cutesy. Yeah, that is fun. Like Moki, that's such a cute name. I like that. Oh, there's another one the other day. What was that? What? Hey, honey. Um, Brayden says that their kitty has white armpit hair. It's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> and they also have a Gary and then a dog named Donut. Aww. I think I yeah I might have mentioned I'm very partial to food. Food cat names. I think they just sound fun. I, not someone I knew personally, but someone I saw online, like one of their relatives, I don't know if they had dogs or cats, but all of them were named after like different like seasonings. Like one was sugar, one was cinnamon, oh. one was ginger, one was pepper, things like that. I thought that was really cute. Yeah. Ooh, Porchy, do not step on the iPad. What? She tried to unsubscribe from me. Yeah. Come on, honey. Um... And then T.S. Glassburner says, or T.G. T. Glassburner says that their kitty's name is Chief. Oh. <laughs> What's going on, Chief? I'm just walk around and say it all the That's so cute. I feel like this. I guess thick whiskers. All the way through. Was the consensus, right? Thick whiskers? Yeah. Dude, what we need is like the end of a wooden spoon or something. That would be good to go through some of these holes. Like, I'm trying to get. To push some stuff out. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Oh, I just had to go in there and like dig in the back. That's, oh, that that's, too, big? that's, too, that's big. too big. That's too big. Yeah. I have a little tiny uh, chisel here. A little dowel. Oh, that might work. Or that. let me look. Oh, maybe like if we had an old chopstick or something like that, or. Oh, we have those uh those a chorks. Skewer. Do we have those chorks in there? Use one of those. Oh. Yeah. Have you ever heard of a chork before? It's a chopstick fork combo that they give at like some like Chinese or Japanese restaurants. Um, like for takeout. Yeah. So like, well, demonstrate, sir. Okay. So it's a fork, but it also has chopsticks on the end. So if you aren't skilled with chopsticks, then you can kind of use these like trainer chopsticks because it's still held together here and it kind of helps you learn how to use them. Or you can actually break them apart and use them like real chopsticks. So they're kind of a. A fun... The world's greatest adventure. I guess I should break it apart, shouldn't I? Cause yeah, if you only need one. Let's go for it. Can I put it in there? Yeah. What's the... I'm worried I'm going to like hurt myself. Oh. Uh, uh, you can have a hammer if you would like that. Well, I feel like what happened to the cutting... Or the, the saw knife? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. I got it. I got it. Uh, let mm-hmm. me get us caught up with comments. So, R.C. Ravenclaw says, How old is your oldest cat? My oldest kitty died last year. Her oh. anniversary is tomorrow. She was 21. Wow. I mean, it's always sad to lose a kitty, but you had that kitty. Woo. For a long time. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, as far as the cats we have now, the oldest is Pornji. Right. And she's oh, just a little out bit of off frame. camera. Oh, oh you're going to yeah, see her tail come across here in a second. Oh, well, there uh, you yeah, go. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, she is four and a half. Then Moxie is next, he's four, and then Luna is three. So they're all pretty close. Yeah, they're very close in age. It's kind of fun. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I mean, I say Luna's probably the smallest one by far. And then there's a big one. Can you see her there? I can see her part of her head. Yeah. She's kind of middle in size, and then... Oh, sorry. Which one uh, you I had this one. Um, and Mumu is the, the big slugger of the group. That's for sure. Uh, I can never get my whiskers. Um, Suspected bear. polar bear says, Kibby is actually striped. You can't really see it unless she's in the sunlight because she's black. 
Oh wow! Yeah, that's Luna cool. has a little bit of brown like on her tummy. Yeah, it's a little. It's like dark brown, and you can really tell when she's like laying in the sun. That's pretty. Which neat. is kind of interesting. And her undercoat is white, so a couple times when she's had to go to the vet and they've had to shave off hair or whatever, it starts coming back white first. I guess the undercoat grows first. It looks first, really so funny. Like white little patches on her. Yeah. Um, uh, Pity Kitty says, "Yay, I'm here!" Well, awesome. Well, Glad to have you. Love BNSF says Q Tip has a Twitter account. How? Oh official. wow. Uh, Brayden says my cat is black with some white. Um, and like like I said, and his name is Wrigley. That's Cute. right, Wrigley. Right. Kitty Kitty that. says I just got a new kitten. Her name is Royalty. Uh, oh. I call her Fawn because of her coloring. Oh, see, we are big uh, nickname. For your kitty proponents. <laughs> yeah, all of our cats have like at least half a dozen names. It's just a thing. It's kind of fun. Um, I think it's fun. It comes to And, nice. oh, Luna Lou says, it's my cat's birthday today. Four wow. years old. You who? Oh, you who? Is that the name? Yeah. Well, God, it's U H U U. U H U. Unless that was supposed to be something else and was a typo. Tell us, is, is that it. the name? And am I saying and it? How do, you, how do you phonetically uh, say it? Katie Kitty says their birthday's on Monday. Happy oh, early wow. birthday. Uh, suspected birthday. Polar Bear says, oh, I need Kibby an Instagram account so I could follow hundreds of cat accounts without judgment. There are so many cat accounts. It's crazy how yeah, many there, there are. There are a lot of them out there. Oh. Ugh. I'm getting hot. Um... A little bit too much work. Okay, how about yeah. this? You look at comments for a little while, so oh, I can okay. get some carving done, and you take a break. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Let me just finish with. Oh. Just kind of poke that whisker all the way through there. And I'm never gonna get mine carved. I know I have a long sleeve shirt on, but it was my new shirt, and I wore it today. I liked it, so I thought, why not show the world? Okay. Oh, oh man, I need some. Oh, thank you. You have water here. Yeah, feel free to. Uh, let's water. see. Archie Ravenclaw says, My kitten is a dark black tabby with a tint of brown, but you can only see in the sun. Her name is Amber. Amber like the color. Oh, wait. No, Amber is... Amber is yellowish? Color. Yeah, it's like a yellowy, orangey... Amber. Kind of like a golden orange brown. Kind of like big oranges? No. Oh. It'd be more like an orangey brown. Like, think of Jurassic Park. It'd yeah, that's like right. That's right. Amber. Sorry, I was getting some of that water while I was at it. Um, love, how do you say it? BNSF? Yeah. Vince? <laughs> um, says, oh, the Q-tip, the kitty cat's account is Q-tip444. But it says, it is sad when cats die. When my one-year-old kitten died, I said I didn't want another one for a while. Then that didn't end up happening. Yeah, that's always really sad when you lose a kitty, especially a young kitty. Um, I don't know, there's no... So there's no good way about it, really. But at least for that one year, you know, your kitty had a nice, happy life, hopefully. And yeah, I think there's been times where, like, all right, we might not, even when we first got our pets, we're like, oh, we're not ready, we're not gonna get a pet yet. And then that opportunity came to get a kitty, and then we kind of hopped on that, and then got another one, and then got another one. <laughs> um, what is this? Jessica Zaleski? Jessica says, I just took it on an all-black stray kitty. We call, uh, we call her Midnight. She has her first vet appointment in the morning. Aww. Midnight? That's just like, uh... That show I can't remember now. What? I think that's a super cute name. I love that. Midnight. What? Is there a cat name? It's from name? something that I can't remember. Well, I mean, obviously Midnight, I guess, is, is not just from a show or whatever. I like the name Midnight. I'll stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, um... Marilyn says, Brayden, your heart always has room for one more. Glad you changed your mind. That's right. You can have kitties forever. <laughs> You'll never not have kitty cats. Oh, ooh, 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 I'm lose track. Kitty Kitty says, you guys are my favorite channel in the world. I don't know what I would do if you were not on YouTube. <laughs> well, thanks. I think we have, we have fun with our various YouTube adventures. And I really rely on Sarah's help a lot for these live streams because... Sarah's good at thinking, I don't know, on the fly with things. I think I can do that with, like, I don't know, object making or something. But when it comes to talking, 
sometimes I don't know what the words are that are coming out of my mouth. So that doesn't really work. So especially when there's something like I like to say, like, you know, this is the beginning of a thing. Uh, check me out later on something something. I just, I can't think of it. Also, when you look at my videos, that's kind of why there are so many cuts. I can't string together that many sentences. Okay. Um, um, I was raving classes. My cat's, my cat's name is Amber because of the color of her eyes. That makes a lot of sense. I get it. Beautiful. I mean, if you just wanted Amber for like a cute name, then that just works too. Yeah. But that makes like more sense to me. Um, Suspected so Polar Bear. I'm going to paint a cat. I need your favorite colors because I want to do some cool colored fire. Ooh, favorite colors. I really love purple. A... I don't have a favorite though. Hmm. I like purple. I like turquoise. I like pink. I've been kind of going back and forth. Green is good too. I, say, I like I, all. <laughs> I would say, I think I'm thinking green. I like, well I like like a hunter green color. I think that's pretty cool. But I also like, uh, I don't have like a neon green and black combo. Like, I don't know if you guys ever played paintball, but there was a company called Marbleizer and they sold these green and black paintballs. I thought that was the coolest looking design slash color combo combo in the world. And I think, I don't know, back when Instant Messenger, AIM was a thing, all the, the red and black and the blue and black, they always looked so cool. I always thought they looked so cool. Okay, Butterfly Planner says hello. Hey! Hello! We are here, we are carving pumpkins, if you could not tell, turning them into cute kitty cat jack-o'-lanterns. I'm or spending way too long doing on our, eyes. Doing their best. Oh, well, you gotta be really precise with them. Yeah. Wow. Are you gonna try to. something? Are you gonna, like, skin those or whatever? Uh, no, I was gonna keep it so Okay, okay. Oh, fancy. Um, Luna Lu says. Uh, it was for a Yoohoo. Happy statement, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I wasn't sure. My cat's name is. Uh, it's like Kuche. Uh,. Cookie, or Coo I was gonna say coochie, but she says, which is pronounced like cookie. Okay. She is gray slash blue like Tom from Tom and Jerry. Oh, okay. That's a really good description. I have to remember that for kitty cats that are that color. She is toilet trained. I am very proud of her. Wow. How did so you manage? Did you do one of those like systems? I've seen them where you like you put it over the toilet and you put litter in and it's like totally covered and then you take out like the center is very small and you take out a bigger ring and a bigger ring until is that what you did or did was she like that when you got her that's very yeah how did you do it uh oh what i was trying to move thick and i got got a very thick whisker here mm -hmm. uh, i might have to make it a little bit longer to compensate I mean, this kitty just has thick whiskers and uneven ears that's just like I said, in the glowing of the dark, glowing of the dark. <laughs> in the dark, when the pumpkins are glowing, I guess is the word. See, I told you with the words; they don't always come out how I want them to. In the glowing of the dark. And when they're glowing of the dark, uh, hopefully it'll kind of even. Oh man, I'm just trying. To... Okay, show everyone what's happening here. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to like, I don't know. You, you said something about reading comments, but like, I like to move fast and go back and forth if I can. Um, which one is it? This one, he got kind of thick pretty quickly. Also, that's just some inside stuff. I want to make him a little bit more triangly. Both looking pretty kitty cat-like, I think. I think it's be pretty cute. Oh, I, I think it's super cute. Um, I'm worried about mine. Uh, quick pull. Mouth? Not mouth? Give it that one? All right, so. Oof. Oof. Um... Okay. Butterfly Planet says, you're distracting me at work. <laughs> Just don't let anybody catch you. But, um, Pity Kitty says, I think no one, I think no one ever knew about me is I had nine black cats at the same time. Wow. I mean, nine cats by itself is like pretty impressive, but nine black cats, yeah, all that's even same. more wild. That's cool though. How do you tell them apart? Because like, I mean, you guys obviously have like very fluffy ones, not so fluffy ones, but when you have like, you know, oh, these guys are all like medium glossy coat black cats. I have a feeling they look like super similar. But I guess I you know once you have them for a little bit, you know. 
Yeah, you figure. A parent always knows. <laughs> I think there's a couple of kitties like that. Growing up, that we had that. Our family knew. Yes, honey. Our family knew who they were. But other people couldn't tell them apart. What is it? A little Missy? Oh my goodness, so needy. Okay, okay. Let's see. Um. Brady says, my mom has a male cat named Midnight. He died at the age of 18. Wow, 18. Was it 21? What did you say? Yeah, 21. 21 and 18. That's, that's, you know, a nice healthy long age for some kitty cats. This little girl is so needy. She just wants to love him. Yes, honey. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> no. We're getting hair everywhere. <laughs> I think you need your breast or something. You're already getting your winter coat. All right. Uh... Check me out. <laughs> oh, sorry. Or do your hair is flying all over me. <laughs> Check me out. <laughs> I get jokes. Pity kitty. Uh, Archie Ravenclaw says, In my primary school, does that mean elementary school? That is what that is, right? Yes, that's elementary. We I say elementary school. Also, I was listening, so I listened to the IG in the UK podcast, and they never heard of uh, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Well, I think maybe it was so freshman, call, sophomore. Like, first year... Yeah, so that's what we call, like, your, you know, first year of high school or first year of college, high school, co- shoot. <laughs> first year of, what am I trying to first say? First year of high school or college is your freshman year. The second yes. year is your sophomore year. Third year is your junior year, and the fourth year is your senior year. Exactly. <laughs> Have you heard that before? <laughs> okay. Um, oh yeah, back to what you're actually saying. In my primary school... The kid started to come every day. His name was Eric, and he would just sleep in the reading area of the classroom. You guys had a kitty in your class? That is so cute. We had a rat in one of my classes. R- really? Yeah. His name was Sugar. Aww. And someone had to take him <laughs> home every weekend. And then after the year was over, one of my friends took him, like, someone had to take him full time to be their pet. And she took him. And he lived uh, quite a few years, and then he got cancer. Oh. And he died, but we had a funeral for him. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I remember our science class had some uh, guinea pigs and some various rats, and I think you could bring them home for the weekend. And also, and a knoll. Um, 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 um. Wrigley, uh, Brayden says, Wrigley, the one I have now, is a ball of energy, though. He bites, and sometimes he doesn't know how hard is, how hard is too hard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We have the same problem with Big Orange and, like, making bread. Like, she has some really sharp claws, and, like, I like, you know, her sitting on my lap, but sometimes, like, okay... You gotta stop or like this is hurting. do it on this pillow or something. I still have her fur all over my hands. Oh, and there's a pumpkin. There's a pumpkin flying everywhere. Okay. Um, 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 uh, oh, I think these are people saying to my pumpkin says, Luna Lou says, yes, yes, exactly like that. Exactly like that. Pity Kitty says, it's so cute. Luna Lou says, the pumpkin looks amazing. Congratulations. Butterfly Planner says, it's turning out great. King Titus says, Hey, remember me and my cat's name is Jazar? I remember that name more than anything, and your King Titus name, because I think it's unique. But how do you say that? Jazargo? Jazargo. Yeah, I need a pronunciation guy. Um, suspected polar bear. Sorry to... Sorry to, but... Oh, my goodness. Sorry. What's that? Sorry to, but I'm... I think you're perfect. I didn't know how to tail you. I'm just filling your comments with stories. These are all puns, if you couldn't tell. Um, we all know that cats are like our kids, and we'll do anything to protect them. Way too many puns. <laughs> but never enough puns. Uh, P.A. says, I'll be right back. My kid just got in the fridge while she's eating the turkey. <laughs> wait a minute. How did she get into the fridge? Did she... No way a cat opened the door, right? Just snuck in? Tell me that story. Um, Archie Ravenclaw says, In America, what time do you start high school? In England, we start at age 11. So, uh, high school is... 14. Is that right? Yeah, but we have middle school. Yeah, we have middle school. We have middle which school. is at 11. So... Yeah, so grades 6, 7, 8, well, at least most of the time, 6, 7, 8 yeah. are middle school. And then 9 through 12 will be high school. Some schools, middle school is just 7th and 8th grade or yeah, whatever. Yeah, so but. that kind of changes a little bit. So, are you just primary school then high school then? That would be my guess. I, 
Yeah. Which, I mean, some schools here are like that, too, if maybe you live in a small town that doesn't have enough people to have, like, a separate middle school. Yeah, I was thinking, uh, Dad went to high school from 7th to 12th grade. Right, Which yeah. that be that's... 12? Is that right? What'd you say? What? 7th grade, that would be, uh, yeah, age 12. So, yeah, I think when my parents were young, too, it was like, they went to elementary school through 6th grade. And then high school was 7th, or maybe it started in 8th grade or something like that. Like, it was, like, elementary school was through 6th or 7th, and then 7th or 8th was when you went to high school. Oh, uh, so wait. Current pumpkin, keep the pumpkin as is here, you think? Or try to do a mouth thing? I think it may be as is. I kind of don't want to ruin it. I'm doing a mouth it. thing, and it is not Tough. easy, so. All right, so vote on mouth or not mouth. I'm going to try to clear out some of this stuff, too, while we're, while we're going here. I just got a lot of stuff left over from the inside. And once I finish this section, I'll give you all an update on what's going on with mine. Oh, yeah. oh I'm going to take some, take some pumpkin out. I still don't know what I think about it, but... Uh, Pity K says she knows how to open with her paw. Wow. Impressive. I guess, I mean, that's cool, except for when she starts to eat your turkey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, butter, butterfly, no, butterfly planner. Says yes, 14. Okay, good. I, Sarah keeps track of... Uh, or nose off the top of her head, I guess not keeps track of, like, ages you do things. I have no idea how old you are. Except for, like, kindergarten, which is, I guess, five or six. <laughs> you don't even know that? <laughs> no, no, I mean, it depends on how old you are. It's about that you age You start range. at five. Maybe you do. <laughs> okay. But some people think, whatever. Uh, I always try to remember stuff we did at certain ages, too, because I just feel like that's a good thing to know. I'm like, going to stab it in there. Sorry. I'll try to be careful. Chippy Chipman says, in Canada, you start high school at 13 to 14. Okay, that's close to those, right? Yeah, it's similar. Like ninth grade or something? Eighth grade. Uh, Pity Kitty says, my other cat Gibson knows how to open the room door. He turns the doorknob with his paw. He's tall. Wait. Yeah, he's tall. I thought you said he's tail at first. <laughs> they jump up there with both? Or do you have like a lever thing? Yeah, because that... Nah, that'd be... Yeah, really our impressive. kitties are pretty good at, like, if a door's cracked, like, being able to get their paw in there and, like, pull it open. But they cannot do any sort of handles yeah. or anything. But I think it's kind of good, because sometimes you have to Sometimes you need things. to keep them out or keep them in or... Um... Alright, so people say, Brayden says, I think it looks good without. Luna Lou says, yes, without. Chippy Chipman says, no mouth, it's perfect. Alright, perfect, pun-wise. <laughs> Suspect Bullet Bear says, mouth. Oh, counter vote. Well, I've got the mouth, so y'all will be able oh, to so see if that one looks one stupid or if that looks good. Okay. I think it'll look cool, but I'm worried I'm going to mess up my guy, so. Yeah. I think I'm going to stick with no mouth. And say, well, how mouth in there? Put a little comparison. I'll have one of each. Um, Archie Raven class says, in England, high school and middle school are mashed together. So just like primary school at 3 or 4, high school at 11, college at 16 or 18, but I'm not sure, then university at 20. Wait, college and university? Well, they have... Oh. I know there's something just from watching British YouTubers, like, there's something you do in high school called A-levels or something, and that's, like... It seems like it's kind of, like, more legit. Like, and you pick which classes you take. Like, you don't do everything for your A-levels. But I've only just heard people say that word, and I have actually no idea what it means. Okay. Um, well, okay. we're getting a lesson today, In different... Educa okay. Here is mine. <laughs> So we've got the pointy Whoa. fingers, I've got my eyes, and then I'm leaving this, so I'm hoping it will look, you know, like a pupil, and then I've got the nose, and I've got this part done. I am loving that, Sarah. So then we just need to do the whiskers. That looks awesome. Well, thank you. <laughs> wow. I am... You're impressed with I'm my quite impressed. pumpkin carving skills. Yeah. It needs a little work, but I think it looks pretty good. That would be awesome. Um... See, this is, but maybe another face on the opposite side of the pumpkin. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know, but then I have to worry about the thing shining through. Oh, I could be like cutting my head off, so it's just like body. <laughs> but then it shines through, and people will see, and the neighbors will say things, and everybody in the town will be talking. Just kidding. I think I'm just getting too hot for too much carving. Um, mum, 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 mum. Uh, Pity Kitty says, I'm currently doing a cat sculpture of your cat. I can't wait to send you a picture when it's done. For real, send me Instagram. You do Instagram? That's the best way. I am, what am I, cats and pets? Cats and I pets. I am cats and pets. Spelled cats and pets. 
So you can post it and tag cats and pats. Yeah, and that'd be the best way for her to see. Also, if you all want to see these pumpkins in their true forms at nighttime with like the glowy effect and how cool it is, um, I'll be putting mine on my cats and pats Instagram, and you can see it there in all its glory. And I guess will we put yours in your Instagram. Yeah, we could do that. Sarah will put hers on her Instagram. You can see it in all its glory. My Instagram is Sarah Moran Nutrition. Sarah spelled with an H. Yeah. If you're curious, so check it out, and they'll be super cute. And like, go a battle of the pumpkins. Man, this stuff looks like spaghetti or cheddar cheese. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I mean, about? it's not inedible, but no. it's not super edible either. Suspect a polar bear. You guys have uh, opinions on training cats. I trained Kibby to come and call and walk on a leash and lick instead of bite. I was sending her teaching her tricks just for fun. She loves the attention. Oh. Uh, I don't have any opinions one way or the other. I mean, I think that sounds fun. I like to leash train our kitty cats, especially uh, Big Orange. Um... She like, hates, hates, hates uh, carriers or just like, kind of being trapped in something in general. So if I could like, have her on a leash harness thing to be able to take her to the vet, like when we take her to the vet and she's like out of the carrier, no problem. She's having fun. She's like rubbing up against the vet. So you know she had to get a shot or something. Doesn't, doesn't care. care. But man, that ride to and from is miserable for her and us. <laughs> she. We, and I think maybe she got trapped in something when she was little before we got her because she really does not like like yeah. closed. It areas. must have been traumatic or something because yeah, she does not like that. Um, and I don't think uh, I think being able to you know take your cat for a walk would be cool, especially if you have like was they Bengal cats or something? Some of the bigger cats that like oh, yeah. you need to take them out for walks if you have like you have them in a the house. Um, I think it's probably pretty necessary. And I, if or if you were like moving or going on a trip to oh, be able to yeah. have them on the leash and good point. Hey honey, what's up? Um, I think that would be good. How charged up is it on iPad? Can you tell? It says it has seventeen percent, and that's with us having it on. It started at seven percent. So you think you can toss it over here? It'll be okay. Uh, about? maybe for a little bit at least. I don't know. Now we don't like, jump over you. Yeah. Over again. You just keep an eye on it, but yeah. Let's see. There you go. Okay. Uh. Lulu says beautiful carvings, both of you. Congratulations. Oh, thank, thank you. A uh, King Titus says you're pronouncing you're pronouncing it correctly. I don't know how I said it correctly. Oh, let me say it again. Uh, where is it? Desargo. Desargo. Okay, cool. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, RC Weaver Class says, we do SATs at year six, so like grade six, and then GSC, then A levels. Are those SATs the same as our SATs? No, that's gotta be different. Yeah, it must be, right? Yeah. Huh. Man, there's so much I don't know. And it's kind of fun. Uh. Butterfly Planner says, I'm so impressed by both of your carving skills. I, you know, pumpkins always start out with like, this isn't going to turn out, it seems kind of hard, but, you yeah, know, generally, they turn out pretty good. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. I think I might have to do a little post cleanup, maybe, um, with like some edges sticking out, but, I don't know, they're going to be cute. Uh, so you're just done, like, done done, right? I guess so. I need to get some, some nubbins here and there, but for the most part, I think it is. I'm just doing my whiskers now. And I'm trying to kind of try to pluck and read stuff at the same time. Uh, Brayden, how have you been training them not to bite? Uh, are you talking to us or to the chat? Maybe to the chat. Oh yeah, I assume you're talking to suspect yeah, just suspected polar bear. Because our kitty cats, I mean, they mostly don't bite, but Luna, she can get frisky and then she gets bitey. But it's kind of like she's having fun while you're doing like it, so you can't be, can't be mad at her, per se. Um, Chippy Chipman says, here in Canada, we start school at three to four years old in junior kindergarten. We do preschool, or some people do preschool. Yeah, but it's not required. But not required, yeah. Um, it says, then we have senior kindergarten, finally the grades start one to eight in elementary and nine to twelve in high school. And it says, P.S. the pumpkins look great. Thanks! Uh... Lulu says, guys, it's late in Denmark, so I need to go to bed soon. But I love being here with you now. I'll follow you on IG right now. See you next time. Wow, Denmark? 
I want to hear about Denmark too sometime. <laughs> but yes, please go to sleep and have you know dreams about kitty cats and stuff. <laughs> and we'll have some cute pumpkins with. Oh, do we have candles? We at least have nice candles, so at the very least, we'll take a picture with a nice candle. Yeah, we can always run and out and get some candles. Find some other. Yeah, find some other. I candles. know we had some last year, but I just don't know did we use them all or. Yeah, I think there's some scraps of in stuff. the basement somewhere or something. They'll be there. We'll we'll make it happen, Kevin. Um. So good night if you haven't left already, and uh, see you later. <laughs> uh, Chim Chimman says, "Have a good night to Luna." Chim Chimman says, "Thoughts on Burmese cats." Do I know what a Burmese cat is? I know what a, is it a Burmese mountain dog? Burmese mountain That's dog. That's Burmese mountain dog. Yeah. Let's look it up on my Bad phone. cat guy doesn't know what a Burmese cat is. Sarah, look it up. I'll get back to you in two seconds. He just says, Hi guys, I had a migraine so I was resting. I just realized you guys are on. Oof, migraines. I hope you get over that soon. Sarah dealt that before. Luckily I never have, but the I heard worst. it's pretty awful. The worst. So, yeah. Keep the shades down or whatever. Whatever helps. <laughs> um, Ray Ness, the Spectre Polar Bear. How have been training them not to bite? The Spectre Polar says, Really, try getting them to getting them used to the car and the harness collar. Some prefer harnesses. Cars like... Oh, cats like Kibby usually like collars. We reward them with treats whenever they walk on a leash. And he replies back to Brayden. Uh, Brayden Doing something she absolutely hates. Fake crying. She gets super upset when I cry, so I start associating biting with crying because my little cousins also enjoy playing with Kippy. Oh, interesting. Oh, apparently the Burmese cat originates in Thailand. Honey! And that's what they look like. Oh, okay. They look beautiful. Yeah. Super cute. That's a little bit like that. Oh, the kind of Siamese looking. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. oh, sorry. I'll show it to people, but I guess just Google Burmese cats. Um, I think they look cute. I don't know if there's like a negative aspect about them that I don't know about, but I think they look really cute, so go for it, I say. Um... What, honey? What? Nita says, What can be done with pumpkins after Halloween? I didn't grow up celebrating Halloween. I've never done that. Uh, well, generally... <laughs> well, hopefully you won't be like, let us leave them on the porch so long they start rotting. But we end up tossing ours in the compost pile. Um... I guess these sort of pumpkins you can't really eat or do anything with, which I guess right. you don't want to after they've been sitting out anyway. So really, compost bin, I think is like your best Yeah, bet. and you can roast up the seeds. Yeah, that's delicious. You just throw some oil on there with some salt and pepper and then roast them in the oven for a while. No, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sarah Marie Nutrition right here. Um, yeah. I encourage you to get a pumpkin and try carving one. They're fun. It's not too, too hard. You can just use, you know, your average kitchen knife. Honey, what is it? I see you and I hear you. You're a cute And you kid. could, you know, do like a classic jack-o'-lantern face or... Some people get really, really intense and you can like print off things off the internet that'll give you a really cool stencil to go by and you can make something super impressive. Brennan says, your pumpkins look great. I might have to do a cat, too. I think it's fun, because cats aren't too, too hard to do, I think. Yeah, it's Especially, like, I did, like, a super shoes. basic one. Okay, mine's done. Mine's done. Um, okay, ready? let's see it. You ready? Boom. Wow. Okay, I'm not super happy with the whiskers. Why not? They're over good. here, let's they're, like, going a little bit too up. I wish they were more, like... Can I see? A little bit closer on? Uh... I don't know. I mean, the angle isn't exactly what I wanted, but I think it's going to be cute, and I'm excited to see what it looks like once we have candles in there. Well, I think it just means like your cat is curious because their whiskers like, are ooh, okay. proofed like up that. a little bit. Okay, I like that idea. Um, he says, "Yes, I feel better. Thanks. Oh, good to hear. I hope you never get a migraine again." Marilyn says, "Burmese cats are brown. I think sort of like a darker Siamese. Nice Christmas present for someone. Yeah, I'm sure." <laughs> Yeah, just give somebody a cat for Christmas. That'd be good. <laughs> Artsy Ravenclaw says, uh, where did it go? I bought a plush, oh, I bought a cat plush the other day for myself. I knew my mom would shout, so I told her it was for my aunt's birthday, which I thought it was, which I thought, uh, wait, which I thought was in a while, but it's tomorrow. I don't want to give the plush up. Oh. <laughs> Downfall. It's hard to read it when things move at the same time. Oh, wow. Whatever 
Planner sent? Is that a super chat? Like? Yeah, oh, you got a super chat! Wow, thank you, Butterfly Planner. Thanks. One dollar Butterf- for each amazing pumpkin card. How generous! Thanks, that's super sweet. I feel like I should send you a pumpkin now. <laughs> pumpkin in the mail. <laughs> yeah, mail pumpkin. Um, that's awesome. Thank you. Sarah Sky Blue. I just posted a video on my channel on how to train a cat to walk on a leash. My cats love it. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Thanks. Uh, Mel says. Arts of Ravenclaw, tell your mom you want to make a necklace or something for it before you give it to her aunt. <laughs> she says, wait, am I helping you lie? Oops. <laughs> Clever idea. Uh, Marilyn says, I take a crap for Christmas. <laughs> Nia says, oh, thanks, Jason. If you didn't use a pumpkin for Halloween, could you eat that type of pumpkin? No. Sarah, that is a really, I think this would be really pretty carving. Oh, thanks. I'm assuming it was a compliment. Okay. But, yeah, you said these pumpkins you can't eat, right? You can't eat these. These aren't edible. Um, but you can get pie pumpkins. I mean, those. you can eat it, right? Like, I don't think it would make you ill. Yeah, I might just eat a piece of that. Right, but it's not going to be good. They're super fibrous. Yeah, it, it definitely was. I mean, it's kind of... Yeah. There isn't really kinda much, crunchy. much going you on try there. That? Like, the pumpkin you get, like, canned in the store is a pie pumpkin. No, I'm not interested. And you oh. also don't know what they put on those since they're not for human consumption. They might use pesticides or something that you wouldn't use on food. Probably shouldn't eat it. I don't know. Not it's... cats and pets recommended. Okay. Um, well, let's catch up on some chats. Let's show our pumpkins again. Okay, yeah, let's turn them out this way. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Huh. Have fun. Oh. Little kitty pumpkin. I'm put my hat on here. Well, a pair of kittens. I here. think this is. Let's make pumpkin heads look good. No, oh, oh, look at it here really quick. What? You can see it on the chat. Oh, because this is delayed for months. Yeah. Oh, we have pink pumpkin heads. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so... I knew it says I meant nice, but it was a nice carbon. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, what's your, oh, my kid saw a duck for the first time. She was scared. I mean... Ducks get scared. Geese. Geese will carry Aggressive. You up. Aggressive. Right. <laughs> He says, well, that's really good. Uh, Suspected Polar Bear says, my grandmother is considering giving Kibby a friend. <laughs> okay. She is going to buy a Persian, but I suggested going to the shelter. Good on you. Good call. Also, both of your pumpkins are look really cute. I'm all for the shelter kitties. They're always the best. My personal opinion, but personal fact. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nina says, you guys are great. Thanks. Thanks Butterfly Nina. Planner says, adorable. Use the two eyes to come back to LA so we can hang out again. Yes. <laughs> Butterfly, Butterfly Planner took us touring through Disneyland. Disneyland? Disneyland. Well, land. Yeah. So she's kind of like a connoisseur of Disney. And it was awesome because like, we're just like, do, 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 do. me and Sarah was like following yeah. along. She's like, okay, we should hit this, do this, fast pass this here and go and like, yeah. boom, tour through it. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, we met Butterfly Planner at VidCon mm-hmm. a couple years ago, uh, which is really fun. Yeah. And now, yeah. you know, we have a friend on the other side? That's the right. <laughs> There's not much... I mean, a lot of Virginia, but like, not like we have Disney right outside the next door. But if you're in the neighborhood... <laughs> yeah. Um, he just said, Jason, what are your thoughts on TNR? I think TNR is Trap Neuter Return. Or... It's also called something else. Trap Neuter Release? Trap Neuter Release. It, they all mean the same thing. It's usually trapping a feral cat bring it in to get spayed or neutered, and then returning them to where they are. So these are cats that usually they're old enough to the point... Man, I'm red. They're old enough to the point where, like, they're not going to be socialized for, like... To be, like, know, a domestic yeah. companion. But they're also, you know... Sorry, big orange is running to the wall. Um, they're good, happy kitties, so... Give them neutered, return them to the cat colony. That population becomes kind of more equalized and balanced. Yeah, to try not, to prevent more right. stray cats from being born. Right, they're not creating any more uh, stray kitties or feral kitties or whatever. And uh, So I'm a fan of TNR stuff. I think there are some arguments against it. Uh, which I probably can't rattle off. Alley Cat Allies, which I think is alleycat.org, I believe, if you go to their website. Or Google Alley Cat Allies. They have a lot of TNR info, so... And you if did you, a video about TNR. Yeah, I think... Is that the one where you have the Pokeball? Yeah, this is the one at the height of Pokemon Go. But I do talk about TNR in there. Uh, 
And it might be called what is TNR or something. I, yeah. I don't and remember. he has a Pokeball and it says gotta catch them all. <laughs> That's right. I thought it was a good tie-in. I, think, in. I might have changed the name. But it's still you with the Pokeball in the thumbnail. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I thought that was a great tie-in. It was a great tie-in. Pokemon Go is popular, and this is like about capturing Catching. real life critters, and yeah. I thought I thought it was a great, great yeah. way to, to get on a trend. Hopping on in there. <laughs> All right, so um, um, um my Raven Claw says there's a big tomcat that has marked my garden as his territory, but my kid loves to go outside. Sometimes they fight. What do I do? Oh. Um, uh. Maybe see if the other kitty wants to come be a, a house friend. Yeah, I don't know if that cat can be socialized some more. That's really tough. I don't know if there's a good answer for that. I don't know if you can encourage that cat to go elsewhere. <laughs> Put food in the neighbor's yard or something. Yeah, um, yeah maybe if you tough. could like... Find another area where you'd like that kitty to hang out, and then maybe put food for it there. You might be able to lure it and train it to go in that other area. Oh yeah, you can see if there's any TNR groups like in your area. They might come and uh, pick it up, and then if it's friendly enough, maybe you can go to a shelter. If not, well, then I guess they're going to be returned. But the cat might be less aggressive if it's yeah, neutered, if they get possibly. But uh, I would say no, one hundred percent good answer from this guy. But do some your ideas. Best. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that. Uh, Butterfly Planner says Virginia has lots of history stuff so I suspect I'll be there one day we went to Colonial Williamsburg for the first time a year-ish ago great that time we've never awesome. been there yeah it's a lot to do which I think because like you know we went on a lot of field trips because there's a lot of historic stuff in Virginia we went to lots of places like in elementary school and stuff but we never went there and I think there's just so much to do yeah. and it is geared a little bit more towards older people I feel, like adults yeah. not as much little kid stuff but it was like a full three days, yeah. and that was jam packed with us. Like, and we, yeah, we probably could we could have spent more time. We could have spent another day. Because there's a couple of museums and stuff that you just like You'd hang be out there, there the for whole a time. day um, easily. But I like talking to all the different people, like talking to the loom people and stuff. Yeah, the different so. interpreters. Is that what they call themselves? Re interpreters. Uh, the is that what it's called? I'm interpreting. I'm. I think they're called interpreters. That sounds right. I like it too because. A lot of the people were, uh, they were dressed as a time period, but they weren't, like, acting like, if you had your cell phone out, they're not, not like, what's that device? We don't have any of those in England or whatever. <laughs> they, they talked to you like a normal person, but they had, like, the aspect of the area, and they could, they could tell a narrative from that time period, but it wasn't... They weren't like, what are these newfangled clothes yeah, you yeah, have? Or, like, yeah. so it's like, okay. Which, I mean, that, that has its place and all, but I'm but, not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> not your preference. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Anita says, I'm going to watch that, thanks. Oh, Suspected Polar Bear says, what's your guys' opinion on camping with cats? I'm really into camping and bushcraft, and when I'm older, I want to bring a companion with me. So I thought about bringing a cat someday. Oh. I mean, I think... I think it's all about the training, right? Right. I've seen some, like, Facebook videos or some other YouTube videos that are like, this guy goes camping with his cat or whatever, so... I think You won't believe what happens Yeah, then. that's right. <laughs> I think it's more than possible if your cat's down for it, like... As long as they're not stressed out and kind of hating, like, the hike or whatever. But if they're... Yeah, it might depend on the personality of your kitty. <laughs> right. And training. But, I mean, if it's trained up and... If your cat doesn't mind, I think more power to you. Yeah, why not? But don't stress out your cat if it's something they're not liking. Yeah. Professional opinion. All right. Um, so, I'm running out of... Breath? Thirst? I'm thirsty and running out of breath and... Slightly tired. It's been kind of a long week, long day, long everything. Um, so just a few more things is what I'm trying to say. A few more minutes, catching up on snaps. Don't forget that these guys are going to be on our Instagrams. Mm -hmm. Cats and Pats. Samurai Nutrition. We'll do them at night, which is going to be, I don't know, it's early now. Isn't it like 7 o'clock? Yeah, o I don't know, a couple hours or something. Sometime tonight, we'll have some cute kitty cats up. Yeah. Alright, so, um, 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 um. Archie Ravenclaw says, it's not fair it's someone else's cat. Oh. Well, in that case... Uh, oh, tell those people to get their cat back in their yard. Yeah, if they can... It's really hard to do that, though, to control it. Yeah, I mean, if the cat roams free or whatever, but yeah. if it's someone else's cat... Yeah, maybe if you could just put food somewhere else, then... Yeah, yeah, that's tough. I don't know if you can talk with them at all or not. Mm. That's tough. Yeah, you don't want to get in a fight with your neighbors. Yeah, Because you have to live next You know where they live, then. <laughs> uh, Ham Pam Pan says, No, I just got here. Hi, anyways. 
Sorry that we did it. Um, hit that bell if you haven't hit that bell for notifications. But then again, maybe you're just like at school or at wherever right now because hashtag weekday. Um, yeah, but, notifi- but if you do sign up for notifications, then you'll get notified at least when, when we're live. So. But I'm glad you're here, and I hope all the kitties that your family's watching are doing well. And once the video processes, it will go up as a replay, replay so you can watch it um, after that happens. Oh, I just saw it. Yep, that's singing lessons. Wow, that's fun. Were you singing any Hamilton? Hmm? Mm-hmm. We're big Hamilton fans. <laughs> We've talked about Hamilton. Oh, before. really? Yeah, favorite songs and all. Oh, um, nice. Suspected Polar Bear says, Kib is still only around nine months old and loves hiking, so she's probably going to be around when I'm in my late teens. Probably going to bring her with me someday. Oh. Man, if Kib's down, she likes hiking, then have fun with it. I see. Yeah, that's awesome. awesome. That's really cool. Brina says, thanks for the stream. I was bored. I will probably go, I think before, before. Mm-hmm. I will probably go pet my cat now. You should do that. I think your kitties will love it. We need to give Big Orange some attention, because if you haven't heard her, she's been like meowing a lot and like... Uh, none too happy about it. <laughs> um, man, I am I'm burning wow. up. Man, I'm throwing up here. Um, and Nita says, do you dress up for Halloween? Have before? Haven't done anything recently. I dressed up as Kylie Jenner a couple years oh, ago. Oh, that's right. That's right. Thing, and no one knew who I was, even though I looked just like Kylie Jenner. She nailed it. That might be on your Instagram, too. Yeah, that's way far back. Did I dress up as something for that? I think I did. Did you dress up as, like, Sherlock Holmes or something like that? Oh, uh, I know, that's right, Holmes. Yeah, I yeah. thought I made a pretty good Kylie. You made a great Kylie. But typically, we don't we don't necessarily dress up every year. But Yeah, I guess if there's like a party or something, we might yeah. go to it. But no, this year... No plans. I think we're watching Stranger Things, because that's awesome. Yeah. Um, Hamfam says, Teacher wants me to start, start with classical, which I'm, not, uh, which I'm not complaining about, but I hope I progress enough to be King George. <laughs> <laughs> That didn't make sense. That made perfect sense. Yeah. I get it. Um, uh, Archie Ravenclaw says, My dog grew up with my old cat, but she's not used to my new kitten, and she growls and barks at her. But she's only a few feet away. What do I do? I hope... I don't know how long that's been. I hope that's just a time thing. Yeah, sometimes um, it just takes a little while. Yeah. I put up a video a couple weeks ago about introducing an old cat to a new cat. I think you do somewhat similar things with a dog. Obviously, like... They're not going to play with each other like a chase after a string, but probably the same sort of thing of trying to get the sense of the other one on the other one. Um, pleasurable activities, like maybe they're both, you know, eat next to each other. Or like you have your cat there is the only time that your dog gets treats and stuff. So just like rewarding your dog when they're near your cat to kind of associate that with happiness. So that makes sense. Um... Oh, Butterfly Panda says, Thanks for being a fun distraction. FYI, I'm working from home today. Ooh, awesome. That's, that's nice. That's a perfect way to work. <laughs> um, Anna Mata says, Your Kali was awesome. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Anna Mata says, Your Kali was awesome. Oh, I thought thank it was awesome. You. I thought I made a good Kylie. Um, Nita says, You should do a couples theme costume, like Frankenstein and his bride. We've thought about that. I didn't thought about it that year, but like. Uh, we did a couple of things yeah. that we did like. <laughs> we always are like, oh, this seems like a fun idea. And like, on, a, on Halloween at like 8 p.m., we're like, guess we should think of something. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lord Jake says, I missed the carving. Well, this whole thing will be going up, I guess, as soon as I end this. And it takes like a few minutes. Yeah, but it's it'll be up process. there. You can see the carving process. See how cute they are. And then, I think we said before, I'm going to say it like 10 times because why not? Um, we're going to put the pictures of. Our pumpkins on Instagram. Yeah. Um, Brayden says, your videos always make me want to pet my cat. Well, that's good. I think you should always just want to pet your cat. All right, so Ravenclaw says, my dog hasn't hurt the kin, but I still don't like her being aggressive. Yeah, I think it's going to be a kind of a territorial thing. You know, they're like, this is my domain. Uh, me and, like, maybe your old cat's domain. Like, who are you coming in here? But hopefully with time, they'll get kind of used to each other and mm-hmm. see that, like, you are accepting of that domain sharing. Yeah. Um, Marilyn says, it takes a while for new pets to get used to each other. Weeks to months. Transfer the odors from one to another by patting each one and then patting the other. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, patting trick, go for it. Um, Ham Fam Hen says, for some reason, cat food smells worse than cat food. Have an explanation? I don't know. I think, well, I think the poop smells worse, personally. Me too. But the cat food, yeah, it definitely does smell... But I mean, it's gonna smell kind of like fishiness, which is kind of gross, or like, you know, meat giblets, which can smell kind of gross. I think it's just like 
what it's made of is not the nicest smelling thing. It's not made of roses. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, allergies is okay. Raiden says, not to me, my kid takes horrible poops. <laughs> um, Arthur Ravenclaw, have you ever read Warrior Cats? I've never heard of Warrior Cats. May I have to look it up? Yep. I don't know. Nope. Never heard of it, never read it. But if you stare yeah. and Google on our phone, we'll look at it in a little bit. But with that, I think I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to get some more water. I'm going to take a shower. Maybe watch Netflix. Maybe play some games. Start on my weekend. I'm feeling good. Um, thanks everybody for coming and hanging out. Yeah, this is a fun. lot of fun. I'm super impressed. I really like the, how his ears. Oh, no. I'm really excited. I like how it all turned out. I think it's super cool. Um, um, last minute things. Smell of cat poop means something about their health. I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> don't leave. <laughs> all right. Uh, bye, bye. Have a great weekend. Bye, Raiden. Bye, Archie Raven Cloud. Bye, Butterfly Panner. Uh, is it Friday or Saturday? It's Friday for me. It's Friday for me too. Yeah. Um, thanks. I love the last few minutes. If you don't see the beginning, it'll be here in a few minutes. <laughs> so once again, thank you everybody for watching. I'm gonna dive across the table, try not to knock anything over. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Peace.